Hello folks, welcome back to the channel. My name is Joel Duggan and we are hanging out here in West Hill outside of uh, the medieval town that we've been building for the last little while. We're in the pumpkin farmhouse and uh, for folks wondering, the, the stream title should be up to date, maybe refresh. Uh, we did some Lego yesterday, put a wing on the TIE Interceptor, but we're, uh, we're back in Minecraft today and uh, I did change it just before the stream, but it, it should it should stick. Let me know if it has not. Twitch has often done that to me where I change the stream title and then it does not listen to me, but looks done on my end. If you're new, welcome in. Oh, it's nighttime. Very cool. Not often that I come out here at like dusk. Sometimes it's like sunset, so very orange by the time we can go to sleep. It changes as you press enter on the message, says Cosmic. Okay, cool. Great minds think alike, probably. I had started streaming before I had changed the title, and then I had to go back and change it. So uh, we were working on the pumpkin farm here and the pumpkin patches, and I think they're coming along pretty well. Uh, you can see we've got a couple of pumpkins ready to grow here. So hopefully those will come in today and I'd like to try and do, I think I want to complete the thought along here, but I think in order to do that, I have to decide on what we're going to do with this wall and I am on the fence. I would really like to update uh, to 1.21 because of all the tough blocks that we get access to. Uh, I really like the deep slate wall that we did on this farm here, and I feel like we could benefit from having more tough in the wall on the pumpkin farm. I think it would it would go it would look similar, but it would still be different enough, I think, because uh, I don't like the cobblestone. So that's on par um, for what we want to do. Uh, however, unfortunately, we, I just none of our data packs and stuff are all updated yet, so. Grandpa Crafter with a 12-month gift subscription of Cosmic Dancer's um, gift has entered the second month. Thanks for the shout-out for Cosmic. Cosmic, thanks for the 12-month gift sub for Grandpa Crafter. Appreciate it. I guess first things first. I'll get rid of these. And I can turn off my shaders and regain my frame rate. It's always sad when I have to turn these off. All right, let's... Um, Put those back. I guess we'll just eat those. So what am I going to put over here? I think I'm going to get rid of the wall. Or move the wall. Let's try moving the wall. See if that inspires us. So, if I was going to move this in, I would probably come in a little bit earlier. Mind Trip Media with 100 bits. Thanks very much. Oh, maybe not that early. I was looking at the wrong thing. So then this would probably be three. Probably two here. And then we'd go into one here. I don't know if that's fast enough. Maybe we don't need to come out this far here. Maybe we can take this back. Two 
two, three, four, five, six. I think that's getting there. Maybe we'll go a little bit farther. Yeah, that sort of works. And then maybe from here, we can curve it back around. I like this, so I don't want to mess with that. We've got here, we've got one, two, one, two. That's a little bit wonky. It's always hard on the scale. What about something like that? That looks pretty organic. If anything, I might want to bring this up one. Oh, thanks, Cosmic. Yeah, I like the way the pumpkins look as well. You can tell the difference between like just placing the pumpkins down and then doing all the other fancy bits. It really looks more interesting. I think I'm happier with that as a shape. So we'll go ahead and remove the rest of this here. Yeah, I don't mind that. So that changes the shape of what we have here. It's a much smaller space. So I feel like we can come up with something else to do in here. Don't know what that something is yet. Yeah, I was hoping that torch flowers would have worked here too. Uh, the green on the tulips goes a lot nicer. I'm really tempted to to do some art stuff and create proper Minecraft looking flowers, like actual 3D flowers. I think tulips would be a really good one because you could essentially do like what's like a clay pot almost, just like one, two, three, four, like four pixels or three pixels around the bottom. I think it could look kind of cool. Yeah, I think part of me is just stuck on not being able to complete this section here because I don't have the blocks I want for the wall yet. While I think about that, just like... Stairs, slabs, walls, chiseled variants, tough bricks with stair slabs. Walls and chiseled variants, right? The tough bricks is what I was looking for, and polished tough. Any images? 
Well, you know, now that I'm looking at it, it's only the stairs and the slabs that are regular tough. Pretty green. Maybe I can just go ahead with a different idea. Okay. Let's think about the wall then. What gray blocks would look good? I like the idea of maybe a lot of mossy cobble and tough together. We could also use vines to kind of cover up a texture. Let's just see if we can come up with something here. Tough for sure. I guess I could also use mossy bricks. Do I have my brick box out here? I don't think I do. Don't think I do. suddenly forget every block in Minecraft. You know, as as often as we talk about the excitement about getting new blocks, I 100% agree that there are blocks in this game that I do not think about as often as I should. I don't think this will look good. This is probably too red. If we stick to having a lot of moss, we should be okay. A different green. Still good to have. Ah, uh, what else could we use? Do I have basalt out here? Cobble deep slate. That's not bad. This is where I want tough slabs, of course. Oh yeah, that doesn't really work, does it? That's not terrible. I need something that's dark like that. I think that works. Yeah. That's not bad. Uh, is there anything else? 
There's no other gray that I can think of. The clay is going to be too light. Andesite might be a little bit too light. Yeah. Andesite slabs might be okay to have on the top of something. How do I not have more andesite slabs? We might be able to get away with something like this on the end. Still feels very bright. I think that's pretty good. So we'll go with tough, cobbled deep slate with vines, mossy everything. Might as well get some stairs too. That doesn't have any green in it. There's no real wood that would have the green and the gray. Oh, I do have my basalt out here. Hmm. I think the cobblestone takes it just by a pinch. The cobble deep slate, rather. How long do you think it'll be before you update to 1.21? Oh, that reminds me, I should turn on my timer. Um, Probably the better part of, of a week. I hope to have everything updated, but again, it depends on... Um, it depends on stuff outside of my control, right? I mean, I think sodium is, is updated. Um, but like, if you look at the mods that we use... I mean, some stuff I don't care about, 3D skin layers, whatever. But like better F3, Bobby, continuity. Continuity is usually the one that lags. Um, falling leaves wouldn't be the end of the world. Um, I would really like to make sure that free cam is up to date. Iris, Indium, like all that stuff has to be up to date in order for us to update. So one of the drawbacks of using mods for performance issues is that you're stuck on the cycle. So that's the that's the thing. I might jump in and mess around a little bit tomorrow just so I can have something to talk about on the spawn chunks. But all right, let's think about this view right here. I think this is going to be one of the more important sections. So let's put some of the darker stuff in here. I feel like it might be easier to do just all tough and mossy for the first bit. I'm curious if this is going to look good here too. Yeah, quite like that. This could almost be a bush. I should probably get some azalea bushes as well. And moss carpet. Uh, 
Uh, yeah, there's very few mods on the server. What do we have to run on the server? We have to run voice chat. Um, if you do bang Joel's mods in chat, you'll get a link to a spreadsheet that'll show you the mods we're using, whether they're client or um, whether they're client side or server side. How did I do that combo over there? Right, mossy bricks. Wonder if I can get away with using mossy cobble to cover the deep slate. I'm okay with some of this looking like it's pretty run down too. It's easy to run out of gray if they don't have the right shade you're looking for. Yeah, the problem that I have with um, working with gray sometimes in the game is that some of the grays are warm and some of the grays are cool and then some of the grays are neutral. And if you want a specific gray, sometimes you can be kind of stuck. That works all right. I'm thinking because of this path that I want to put here, that I might want to make sure that this is a very detailed section of the wall. like that better. So we can't put vines on that face, but we can put them on that face. And I might be able to even put moss up here to help that. And if I put some grass in front of it, maybe. Need more things. Need some grass. And I need some cracked stone bricks, I think. New blocks should open up some new design possibilities. Oh, for sure, they always do. I agree.
Thanks. Yeah, I like the roof too. I like the roof too. I feel like sometimes without shaders, it needs some definition, but beyond that, pretty good. I don't know whether that should be Azalea, something else. That's a nice touch from out here. Oh, do I want to put a bush there or do I want to put grass there maybe? Nope, bush looks better. Maybe we'll switch these. That's better. Just not quite as dark. I think that works pretty well. Now I think I have to take it back up a bit. Oh, maybe not that high. Ah, oh, crap. I knew I was going to do that by accident. Sooner or later. I can't believe how long it takes for pumpkins to grow that last stage. No, it wasn't the pumpkins. It was the, the fern. Hit the too high fern with a block. I like the idea of getting some of this to, to try and come over the wall a bit. Maybe I should get some mangrove bushes too. You've had pumpkins pop up right after you harvest them. Well, we had oh, there's one. One grew. So the other ones shouldn't be too far behind.
Yeah, I kind of like the idea of that creeping over. This is where the darker acacia might look good. And I definitely want to increase the wall height here. They don't all have to be covered in moss. Maybe we can get some regular bricks out here too. Uh, let's see here. Doesn't take long to get a full inventory. You've harvested all of your pumpkins before Jake Christ, and then you've had another five or six credit to be harvested again. I guess it depends on the cycle, right? I feel like they all seem to grow roughly the same time. Maybe here we can go lower. Or maybe a stair would be good. Yeah. And if we get a pumpkin growing out there, that'll kind of cover that up a bit. I like that. Hmm. Whoops. I guess you should be thinking about the road here too. There's always so much to consider when you've got several builds that are starting to connect, I guess, come together. I'm going to need more concrete powder soon.
probably should use the concrete powder to highlight that path, however that's going to be. And through here, we can connect a few of these up, I think. It's really subtle, but I find it makes a big difference. Now this is all going to be green because of the, um, the slabs here. So maybe we can do a little bit more back here Maybe a little bit much. That helps a little bit. Want, I think, more bushes. That just feels like really evenly spaced, though. Maybe what we need along here is actually this to be there. Yeah, that helps. That's better. Now here, I feel like we could maybe have the wall crumble a bit. Good opportunity to have some dark stuff down there. Have some stuff like this here. Although, maybe we can do, oops, that. Switch this around. And then that feels pretty good.
sure. Oh, this is where the wall connects to. That's actually really good. I hadn't really planned that far ahead, but maybe here. Oh, jeez, that scared the crap out of me. I thought that was a creeper. I heard it before I saw it. Uh, ooh, fire coral. We're going to need to get some stuff. Yep. All right. Let's grab some of these. We'll go fire coral, purple concrete. I think I just got observers, so I'm not going to worry about those. Warped wart block. Crying obsidian if I have it. Cobbled deep slate. Honey block, room light, and red concrete. So, fire coral, purple concrete, warped warp block, crying obsidian. I'll skip the cobble deep slate. Honey block, shroom light, and red concrete. I just want the bright blocks. I don't know if I have enough emeralds. That's the other thing. I might have to mine some emeralds. Do I have... No, I don't. I don't have any emeralds at all. Uh... Let's see what I have in the mining boxes in the storage. Thanks for the list, Cosmic. Appreciate it. Dan, good to see you. Uh, Blast Jordan, good to see you too. Got one emerald. Uh, yeah, I don't think I want to use... I don't want to mine those. Well, all right then. There is a village nearby. I wonder if anybody there has got trades I can make for emeralds. Oh, it's almost nighttime. I should sleep before I do that. Yeah, I used all my emeralds. That's right. I think... I don't know whether the villagers are still alive. But we might be able to find somebody that has a cheap trade. I also might just have emeralds back at my home base, but then I don't know whether he'll stick around long enough once I unload the chunks. In the right direction. I have no idea if there's anybody even left alive over here. Does not look like it. Looks pretty abandoned to me. Or all murdered by zombies. Pretty rough iron golem. That's not a good sign. No, I don't think there's anybody here. Nuts. Oh, I hear somebody. And you're a nitwit. Why don't you have a profession? Just the one, yeah. Just the one. There might be a village farther away that's not loaded all the time. Oh. 
Leather for emeralds. I can absolutely do that. Be right back. Don't often get to approach West Hill from from down here. Do I have space? I have space. Bingo. I only need like six or eight, I think. That's an ominous looking hole. Yeesh. Yeah, the villager better not go anywhere. I think it was that guy. Where'd he go? There he is here. Sixteen, I think that'll do. Do you level up next? Yes, you do. Oh, that's done for now. Flint, don't have that. That's fine. Good enough for now. I know I want to move on to a different kind of build, but I definitely have a vision for connecting roads and stuff along here, but roads just take so long to do. space. Crap. He's still here, so that's good. All right. Uh, fire coral was first on the list. Purple and red concrete, I think, were the next ones, as far as the color goes. Did I just... <laughs> Purple concrete warped blocks in there. So the reason I'm going for all these colored ones is because uh, it's going to look cool in, I think, our sci-fi area. Shroom lights. Where do I have those? Those are in here? Yes. Really hope they fix the, um, the, the shading issue. 
the shulker boxes with Iskel's pack. It's distracting. Honey block. Those are in here. Cobble deep slate. I have that on me anyway. I guess I could always get more. Crying obsidian. Did I see any crying obsidian in there? I do have some crying obsidian. Fire coral, purple cor concrete, warped wart block, crying obsidian, cobble deep slate, honey block, stream light. That's everything. Cool. Bit of an interruption, but not the end of the world. And we have a handful for next time, which is nice. I probably already have enough of those, but why not? Why did I get Hannah heads? I'm not sure what I did wrong there. Okay, let's take some of this back. Thanks for copying and pasting that list again, Cosmic. Always helpful. Don't think we're using those or those. Keep those ones. Anything that's a player head goes in there. Cool. Gives me some room in this now too, which is nice. It is indeed break time. Thanks very much for the reminder. For folks that are new to the channel, I take a break once an hour. It just gives me a chance to grab another glass of water. It gives you a chance to share the stream with your friends. Let them know that we're live. And uh, I'll be back in about five or six minutes.
Looks like the wandering trader is still flying around. We uh, need to pick up our stuff again. From here. And now we're back to a cramped full inventory. Joy. <laughs> so I like the way that the wall looks from out here, but that one piece looks a little out of place from inside. So I think maybe we have to add a little bit more. Oh man, it really does look good with the green. I think we have to stick to mostly mossy along here. Did we get another pumpkin? We did. We did. Another one grew. That's good. Yeah, that's better than the single the single slab. And this maybe reverse it and do the same thing. What do I not need? I guess I don't need the bamboo. Thank you, Cosmic. Uh, that can go in there. Crap. That should be good. I really haven't been using the andesite, have I? Put that away. I'll keep the slabs just in case. I like that looks pretty good. It's a lot of green, but I think it's working out. Oh, here, I might want to do a cobble bit and then top it with something. Oh, no. here we might be able to get away with oh what was that for that was probably just don't grow a pumpkin here maybe yeah that's grown from there i don't know what that that part is for this isn't where the wall changes Now we need pumpkin scenes at a hoe, which I don't have room in my inventory for at all. Uh, what do I get rid of? 
We seem to be collecting the cobblestone. Um, not been using the cracked bricks that much. Maybe I'll just ditch the walls for now. The copper raw mini block? Yeah, that could be fun. I agree. That's why I kept it over here. So what I think I want to do is get rid of this. Get rid of you. And then this has got to be... I think I just put this in the wrong spot. All right, so that is, oh, come on. So that will go there. And then do this. Full again. This is really frustrating. I hope they can figure out what to do with the inventory in this game. I do find more recently that it's it pushes my not create it it limits my creativity. I find that's the big thing. <laughs> Just leaving a block of stone for my future self. Yeah, fair. I think maybe that needs to be an actual piece of block. So like, probably one of those. I could try andesite. Yeah, that works. That's pretty good. I wonder if I can remove that. Nope. Better with better with the carpet there. Sometimes these just look cooler when you've got that extra pixel of depth. Oh, I know what I wanted to try to work in was some cracked bricks in certain places. J 
just to break up the green a little bit. I think it's especially cool when you get them at the end of a row like this. Add some texture. We've got tough down there. Let's maybe put tough here. It's a little repetitive. That's frustrating. I don't like it when the grass comes over the road like that. It just does not work for me. So here, I think we can maybe spice things up a little bit. I'm not going to be able to do it now because I don't have the room in my inventory, but I think we could put some dirt blocks here. We've done that in other places. Uh, I feel like I've done it somewhere. Where have I done that before? Not on a specific path. I feel like it was just something else. All right. We'll figure it out. But I, I think I could probably spice that up a little bit. This is where the wall is. Nope, too close together. It might actually be fun to have that go down. Maybe we can do a stair here. Maybe we'll switch that to cobble stair. Whoops. Get some carpet going. Yeah, 
Yeah, I think that looks okay. I'm still not sure about this. Unseen Kiku? I, I don't know how to pronounce that. Welcome in. Um, I don't do server tours on stream very often. Um, if you hang out long enough, you'll you'll see a lot. Because I play on the same server every week. Uh, you can go and check out the Joel Duggan VODs channel. Uh, because I don't do edited video. So if you're really looking for tips and building and stuff like that, then... Uh, all of the video series are pretty well named. It'll be like, you know, Pumpkin Farm Part 1 through 7 or Lilac Farm Part 1 through 15 or like whatever. And uh, that's the same for most of the town. So this whole place is built up on that YouTube channel. So if you want to go check that out, then I would appreciate it. And you'd, you'd probably get more out of it than me just walking around pointing and looking at stuff. Um, but if you hang out live on stream, then very often... Uh, I will be, I'll be going back and forth and you'll see, see a lot of it. Some of this moss feels very evenly spaced. kind of like that that's not mossy maybe we'll start to get a little bit less mossy although i've got to do more about these pumpkin patches they these really have not had the same treatment as the other ones have I don't know whether to try to go up higher here. Actually, yeah, that seems to work. A lot of what I do with this medieval building stuff is trial and error. Pretty good. Yeah, I think I like that. That looks good.
Oh, I don't need moss, do I? Just the one. Yeah, that's working out. Sometimes it just feels one block just feels like too much. I don't know why. It's too dark. Maybe we'll go with cracked in here. Yeah, that's a little bit better. Feel like we might be able to get a decent corner there. Yeah. Maybe we can even go the big bush. Yeah, I wish we <laughs> wish we had slabs sometimes for bushes. I say sometimes, all the time. This might be a good opportunity to actually come in with the um, uh, mangrove bushes. I think that's how I had it. Hmm. Maybe not. Maybe we can do a fern here. Don't know why that would matter. Pretty good.
Yeah, I like that. That makes sense. I wonder if I remove this and put that there, if it's going to be, yeah, I like that better. Although, maybe we just put the vine on that one instead. Now it's better there because then it, the other two don't look like it's repeating a pattern. Cool, Unseen, thanks for checking out the YouTube channel. Appreciate it. Do I have any immediate plans for 1.21 other than the possibility to go find a trial chamber and strip it for parts? Uh, that's one possibility, although I have enough tough that I can I can probably just craft the things that I want. Uh, although that would be a nice break from West Hill, and it would also be something cool to talk about on the podcast on spawn chunks, so that would be good. Mm, too much gray. Doesn't seem to work either. Hmm. I think I want this to be bricks as well. Yeah, that looks good. I don't know sometimes about these pumpkins in the back corners. Maybe we can drop something in here too. Yeah, I feel like that works. So we go back up over here, and I like that, I think. 
to hear this. So I think before we finish up this section here, it might be important to do the actual entrance. So I'll just wrap this around where I can. So maybe we'll put in some tuck down here. A lot of switching. Whoops. I think that's why it takes up so much time. Ah, uh, there's something about when the wall goes really low like that with a pumpkin there. It's just, it's so distracting. Maybe we can go without Mossy here. Okay, so I think that's decent for there. So now what I want to do, I think, did I decorate the other entrance? I don't know that I did. I did just put slabs on the top of them though. So it does have kind of like that slight gate feel. So it's two blocks. This is where I feel like the polished tough for one of the new blocks would be kind of fun to play around with. Maybe we can get away with a plain slab. No, not really. Um, would there ever be any interest in adding video to the Citadel Cafe? So the problem with that, and I've thought about it because I think it would also help engagement. I don't seem to have the time to edit the Citadel Cafe as a regular podcast. Uh, if I had to do video editing on top of it, I don't know. I think if I was to do that, I'd have to find the money to pay somebody. Because I have trouble getting two... I'm having trouble getting one episode of the Citadel Cafe published a month. And I'm not proud of that. That's I, I really I do have the time. It's I'm just not been organized about it. I've really been enjoying the video format of the spawn chunks. That's cool. Yeah. But it, see, Johnny edits that. And Johnny's really quick at that because he edits he edits stuff all day long for his job on YouTube.
Get that's actually a better look. Keeping this sturdy looking. Oh, I didn't make any slabs. Yeah, I need a 36 hour day or, you know, I think the thing that I, that I'm struggling with is that I could find the time to do this, the editing, but the thing that would be, I would be sacrificing is, uh, a, what I feel right now is a really healthy work-life balance. So, you know, I go to the gym usually around 3.30 or 4, but by the time I'm home and eating dinner, there's... What I what I could and should try to do is go back to work, you know, go back to editing in the evenings, and I'm just I'm tired. I just don't have twelve hour days in me anymore. It's more mentally, I think, than it is physical. You know, it looks better with the slab. Maybe I'll just change the other blocks. Yeah, it's it's something that I've considered. The other thing too is that I'd have to make sure that the people that are coming on the Citadel Cafe with me want to be on video. I also I think the better thing for me to focus on with the Citadel Cafe would be instead of trying to move to video and creating that much more work for myself. I think what I need to do in order to increase the frequency on the Citadel Cafe is record regardless of whether I can organize a friend to come on or not. So what I should do is um is record myself just talking about a show if that's what it's going to take right What could I put there? Let's do that. I think that works pretty well. Might be able to sneak one of these in. Maybe if we put a bush in front of it. They're just a little bit too dark sometimes. I don't know if I want to put carpet on this side. Oh, that looks better.
Maybe a little bit of grass. No. Oh, I like that. Maybe we'll do that. Whoops. Snooky full. Hello, hello. Welcome in. I think the Fletcher. Yeah, the Fletcher sells arrows. I'm not sure what the Fletcher buying arrows, Jay Christ. I think that looks pretty good. I don't know about that part. I put those walls away. I think a wall here would look good. We need a place to put a sign. Farm sign. <laughs> um. I'm not sure what to call that. We don't really have a sign for this one either. This should be maybe more about like what the road is called. I've been, I've been attacked. I've been Just overrun. Such a weird spacing. <laughs> Did you only have three, Cosmic? Did you only have three? Must contain. There we go. Wouldn't want that spreading. People might catch happiness or something. I see one more. I see what you did. The map is my friend. Can't have that spreading around. What would be a good name for this road? Like some sort of lane? West Farm Lane, maybe. Hmm. What did I call that? The Stone River? Can't remember. Spruce River? I think it's a Spruce River. Spruce River. Uh, we don't have a lot of room here.
Probably nothing that's low. Dots are kind of small. What could we do? Bruce River Lane, maybe? Oh, I guess I should copy that. I can probably type it faster than copy and paste. Done, at least for now. I think that's a decent pass. I haven't, I don't really have any ideas for here. I would reduce the amount of work that I have if I just got a texture pack that covered the sides of grass blocks, but here we are. Yeah, I get a lot of arrows too, J. Christ. I don't know what else to do with them. You can use them as fuel, I think. Can you burn arrows? If you have something like a pigman gold farm or something, you could maybe do use the arrows for fuel. Spruce Riverland sounds like an amusement park. <laughs> yeah, that was a funny typo. Yeah, that's that's ac that's accurate. It does sound like an amusement park, doesn't it? I really don't know what to put in here. Guess we'll just leave it like that for now. Maybe we can do some of these dropped drop bushes. They seem to do very well. Hmm. Might be better to do it here. sure about this piece. I feel like I need to replace that somehow. Whoops. Hmm. 
This might be the one spot that I can use that um, andesite slab. Oh, what did I just, I just broke something. Probably a fern. Yeah. I kind of, I want to know if I can put, it'd be kind of neat if I could put a gate or an open gate or something. This might be fun. I don't have anything on me. It could be fun to put like an open trapdoor gate here. Let's do that quickly while I think about it. Maybe a wall. Although I'm not sure how that would look. Thank you, Cosmic. So just thinking if we had something here that looked like it could close. So it would be open, but I think that's pretty good. I think that looks like it could swing shut. And then I guess we'd have to figure out, maybe we'd want it to be, it's longer. And that's gonna be too long, yeah. I know technically it's four blocks across, but sometimes when you do this, it's better to kind of give the impression that it would swing shut at an angle here. And then maybe instead of that there, we could put in another another wall thanks m dog i like doing stuff like that uh do i have another little mini block that i could put in there too that's player head that one too so if we create another one of these things over here right but I wonder Hmm. It's weird when it's the same height as the slab. I like the idea of it.
This, I think, needs to be just a regular one instead of mossy, but I think that works. There was somewhere else I was supposed to put a wall, too. Don't remember where. Yeah, I like that. Pretty basic, but does the trick. And then the cool thing we can do is we can actually create some texture that looks like it scrapes along the ground here. It's like even if we did this. Well, maybe not. Uh, Bananalk, I think I'm pronouncing your name right. Thanks very much. I really appreciate the kind words. Sometimes you just have to clean out the old inventory. Do need one of these. Sometimes being every twenty minutes or so, yeah, that's that's accurate. That's accurate. Was it there? Yes. But yeah, I do try to put in a certain level of detail. Uh, it's more for myself than anything else. Not sure about this one here. But, all right, we'll tackle that another day. And I have to wait for this nighttime to fall so I can sleep here. All right. So the two things we were able to tackle today were the shift of this wall to create a different shape back here. I still don't know what I'm going to do with this, but there's a lot less room, so that's good. Less space to fill. Uh, and then I was looking at this back wall and thought, you know, I should really decide on a pallet for the wall. And I quite like what we came up with. There's a lot of mossy cobble, a lot of tough, a lot of mossy bricks. There's really not very many bricks that don't have green in them. Every once in a while we tossed in a crack. But uh, I think it looks pretty good. It looks weird with shaders on because, of course, the azalea bushes light up so brightly, strangely. Until the sun gets higher, they all sort of light up. Very heavy on the azalea, actually. I might have to come back in and maybe change out for some jungle or something here and there. But I like the um, the different shape to the top of it. I feel like it looks good inside. I haven't really paid much attention. These are a little regular. I might want to space those out a little bit more. Or remove one of these. Yeah, like this could this could be lower. The whole reason it's higher, I think, is because of the um, the pumpkins. So there's that. But I like this peak here that you can see. And same with this. Going low for a bit. I might even lower this again farther. Could be kind of fun.
But yeah, I think that it looks good. Uh, and then of course we worked a little bit on the front gate, which really, that really feels like an entrance now that we've got that on there. I think it's very inviting. I like that you're not overwhelmed by pumpkins on both sides right away because of the brown, so that's good. And it ties in with like some of the other colors we've got going on over there. I like it. So we really didn't get to the pumpkin patches themselves. We grew a couple new pumpkins, but really I have not gone in and done the extra work. So I think once we've, now that we've gonna, got this wall done, I might shift gears again. And then tomorrow when I come back at one o'clock Atlantic, that's UTC minus four hours for those that are new, uh, we'll work on probably a little bit more of this pumpkin patch and bring the details that we have up here, kind of extend that down throughout the whole thing. I'd also like to work on this wall, this old wall, and have that look like it makes sense. It could be fun to have a bit of a break in here. Uh, but that's where I'm going to leave it for today. If you've enjoyed this, please leave a follow here on Twitch. You can check out things like uh, Twitter and Instagram. It's Joel Duggan, very easy to find. I'm going to pass you along to a member of this community, one of my moderators and a member of Infinity Cove, my patron server, and that's Elkhorn95. However, they are not playing on Infinity Cove today. They are playing on uh, a server for Gamers Outreach. It's a charity. It's the Advancement Hunting Guild. Uh, is that what they're part of right now? So you can go and check that out. Uh, you obviously want to follow Elkhorn. They do a lot of really cool stuff, and they are an excellent member of this community. I think you will have a good time. I'll be back again tomorrow. In the meantime, check out things like the Discord server if you've got a gift sub from today or if you'd like to join via Patreon. It's patreon.com slash Joel Duggan. That link is just in chat. Thank you very cosmic. Thank you very much. And um, you can uh, join the Discord for $2 a month. It's very, very, very simple, very easy, very accessible. And it does a, a lot to help me stream more often and uh, keep up the consistency. So I thank you all very much. I will see you tomorrow. Have a good time with Elkhorn. Bye for now.